right. That's quite an entrance. How are you doing? I'm good. Right, are we going to go do a little tour of Beverly Hills? Let's do it. All right, sounds Morning. good. Uh oh. Oh, is it locked? Uh -oh. I don't know where the button is. Um, <laughs> smooth start, smooth okay. start. Okay. Um, Full what? professionals. Here we go, how about this? That works. Got it. <laughs> so, how have you been? I've been really well. How have you been? I know you've been in uh, in the UK for a while. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, uh, no, everything's, um, everything's sorted back home. Um, so, back to doing more videos. Excellent. Well, uh, you've been missed and the channel's been missed, apparently. Absolutely. Well, we're back, guys. We Hi. are back and we are on Rodeo Drive. And so, do you want to tell everybody what the plan is for this morning? The plan is that I will follow Adam's instructions. <laughs> I have no idea, and Give he's me the your director. Ferrari. Yes, you can have it. Cool. In a go. photograph. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we're going to go for a little cruise. I'm going to take you on a little tour of the mansions of Beverly Hills and uh, the hills of Bel Air. So uh, you'll get to see a little bit of my town. Famous shopping street in the world, Rodeo Drive. All the beautiful boutiques. I'll open the, the windows here so you can get a better look. Now, unfortunately, the lights aren't lit, but these are Baccarat chandeliers. They say each one of these chandeliers is about $40,000. Uh, and again, you're not going to see that anywhere other than Rodeo Drive because everything here is a little extravagant. But beautiful, and I love it. Directly in front of us is the Beverly Wilshire Hotel, and for those of you that have seen the movie Pretty Woman, that is where it was filmed. And many other movies, but it is a beautiful hotel. Nothing starts happening here till about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but it's because it's the summer season, summer season, uh, it's not the summer season, it's the Christmas season. Everything is open till 8 at night, so they open a little later in the morning in the summer, I mean the Christmas, I mean the holiday. What am I talking about? I promise you he hasn't been drinking. How do you know? So how long have you lived in Beverly Hills? Probably 12 years, somewhere around there. I've been in the Los Angeles area for a long, long time. I used to live in Calabasas, which is uh, about 20 miles from here, but very, very nice. Just too far to get to the action. And where did you live before you were uh, here? Were you East Coast? I was backwards and forwards. I uh, had a house in Florida, and um, I would commute backwards and forwards to Florida, New York, and Los Angeles. I had a little place in New York, too and uh, it, it was a, a lot of travel but I decided to settle down and just stay here. I travel when I have to but uh, what is it about it. what is about LA that you love? The weather, the yeah. sophistication, the supercars. It's the best place in the world for supercars I think. Uh, Monaco's a close second. Yeah. Uh, and Dubai's up there as well but I don't think there's anything like Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills is called Beverly Hills because it does in fact have a lot of hills and uh, the houses are amazing. The roads on the other hand aren't. <laughs> I was going to say, these are shocking aren't they? That's 
That's a lot of money there. Beautiful. Ferrari. Happening. Well, this is the type of thing that happens when you drive around the road to Beverly Hills. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, this is a 67 330 GT2 Plus 2. Uh, I found it at a collector's house up in Seattle. Really? Yeah, it wasn't advertised. Somebody told me through words from here and there, and then I flew up to Seattle and I bought it. <laughs> Another Ferrari. Let's not get killed by another Ferrari. <laughs> hey, how's it going, guys? We're having cars and coffee here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to swing by the Playboy Mansion, show you what it looks like, uh, at least the gate of it. Next turn is uh, the road that it lives on. Tell us about what you're saying. Yeah, uh, I'm seeing a picture of, I think it's Crystal Harris with Hef on the right, and on the left, I can't make out what that is. But uh, obviously, roses and you know, people sending their respects. A little bunny on there as well. Yeah, bunny, of course. So we just stopped here to take a couple of pictures of the car outside the Playboy Mansion, which is right behind us. And this house here is Jay-Z and Beyonce, which, um, it's quite a spectacular property. They're doing a lot of work to it. I don't know if you can pan the camera over and see up through the hills the amount of work. And on the right hand side here, uh, famous entertainment mogul Irvin Azoff. This is his house. In fact, this gate here is for his security team. His main gate is further up the road. We shall wander on. That's a new little toy, that's um, a very rare limited edition AP Offshore uh, with a baguette diamond bezel. I just got that a couple of weeks ago, actually a week ago. Love it. This is the most expensive house in the United States, right here. It's uh, like a city block long, as you can see. Wow. Uh, this is just the start of it. When we get around the corner, you'll see where the house really And here's the house still going, it's not stopping yet, and it stops there. Wow. Is that crazy? Or is that crazy? That is crazy. It makes me feel poor.
how about this for a view? It's, uh, it's quite nice, isn't it? Shame it's a little bit on the misty and foggy side, but it's actually just spectacular. So I really had a blast shooting this video today and I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, sharing Beverly Hills with you and Bel Air, some of the beautiful properties, the scenery. Not for a second do I take this for granted. I'm very, very lucky and privileged to be able to live here, enjoy the sunshine, the environment. Uh, love to share it with you guys. Hopefully one day you'll see it for yourself if you haven't already seen it. If you enjoyed this, please hit that subscribe button and uh, don't forget to hit the bell that lets you know when the new video is coming out. I still don't know where that bell is, but apparently it is there. Enjoy guys and thanks again for tuning in. Bye.